I had been doing, I, I did the, the movie Air, Airport, the one that Helen Hayes was in, and I met Sandra Gould during this long shoot because we were all passengers on this plane. And one day she had me over for dinner with Millie Gussie. And Millie Gussie was a very wonderful casting woman. And I knew her from before. So I was getting divorced. I was in a terrible state of my life. So she called me in and I'd make a good mother for Ron Howard. And, my, and at that point the part was like, oh Howard, oh Richie, you know, that was the part. You're not eating, it was a very simple part. Then I went down to San Diego to the Globe Theater and did Summer and Smoke. And while I was there, because we made this, we did this on Love American style, Happy Days, as an episode. And everybody liked it so much, they said, this 50s business seems very hot. And they paid us all $1,000, like a retainer fee. And they said, we'll, we'll keep a hold on you. Off we all went. And I went to the Globe Theater and did Summer and Smoke, this whole Alma Weinmiller. Tennessee Williams, and while I was there, somebody said, oh, I see that uh, your pilot's old, that uh, they're going to make a, a, a series about, uh, call it Happy Days. I said, what? Give me the paper. Let me see. So then I had to be in the play, run up, say, oh, Howard, oh, Richie, we'll go back, do the summer and smoke, go back and forth, Tennessee Williams. And uh, when the play was over, at least what had happened, I had taken an at the back page of the trades with all my ads from all my reviews from Summer and Smoke. So they knew I was a good actress. So they, they treated me with a lot of respect. So that as the years went on, when we would read the play every Monday morning around the table, they would say, Marion, read all the girls and read this other woman and read, uh, read all these parts. My heart would start to pound and I would really try to sell these parts, try to sell myself. And they would, their little heads would snap around. They'd say, oh, God, you should play this part. You should play this. You should play this, this. So they began to write. I always tell about young actors. I say, try to, to educate the writers to what you can do because they need help. They're writing in a vacuum. And, and they'll, they'll start to write better for you. So my part would get better and better. 